morning everybody welcome back to the channel if you're new here be sure to hit that subscribe button I don't want you guys to miss out we are a military family we also homeschool our kiddos and we like to get out there and explore and see and do new things so today my plan had to change we had a little bit of a rough night last night um, my initial plan was to get a lot of work done since I am a travel agent and I also do a lot of affiliate marketing, so I, ha I have a lot of things to do today. But I also have a lot of schoolwork to do with the kiddos since they are homeschooled. Um, maybe I'll get to my work. <laughs> that is the plan. I now actually have more time to do it because the kids are sick. Jane yesterday told me that her, her throat was hurting and she had a runny nose, so we made sure that she took it easy last night and didn't play too hard. Um, she woke up last night with a 102 degree fever, and that brings back horrible memories. If you guys saw one of our later vlogs, I think it was um, uh, almost two years ago, it was almost uh, October time, so maybe about a year and a half ago, she got so sick. It was 105 uh, fever, and I have never seen her that sick before. It was, it was terrifying. We took her to the urgent care here in our neighborhood and they said she didn't have strep throat and that she was just trying to get over a flu. Uh, things really escalated quickly that night. We ended up taking, to, taking her to the emergency room over at Wilford Hall at Lackland Air Force Base and those guys were great. Um, they did have some trouble with the IV. I remember that. It got very bloody. Peter ended up almost passing out. He ended up throwing up in the trash and because uh, he couldn't stand seeing the blood come out of his sister's arm. But uh, she was so sick. Ugh, poor girl. I, I never want to see that again. Um, but it took her quite some time to get back to normalcy. I, I really hope it doesn't escalate to that. Every time this kid gets a fever, my mind automatically goes back to those few days and I, I never want to return. Um, so today we are taking a break from homeschool. We're gonna let the kiddos rest. Uh, Peter woke up with a runny nose, so I don't want it to get uh, too high, too escalated with him. Um, let's just keep it at the runny nose and just get better from there. They're a little bummed because they wanted to go to Aquatica this weekend. We have plans to get outside, have some fun, and uh, go to Aquatica, but um, we'll see what happens. We'll see how they do today. Um, I told them we're gonna be watching a lot of movies today. <laughs> we're gonna do a lot of uh, relaxing time so that you guys can get better and we can really enjoy the weekend. But I am going to make some breakfast. I slept in today. I usually get up at five, but I slept till 7.15 when Jane woke me up because we were up quite a bit last night. And it feels, it feels nice to sleep in from time to time. It's been a long time since I've uh, slept in that long. Um, but I still gotta get my first workout in because I'm doing that 75 hard challenge. And then later on, I need to find time to get outside to do my second workout. And unfortunately, the kiddos can't come with me, so I gotta wait for Adam to get home or I need to get creative and do something in the backyard. Uh, maybe do lunges for 45 minutes. That would be torture. Um, I do have a jump rope. I know I could do that or set up some kind of obstacle course. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see what I come up with or if Adam gets home a little bit early. I think he said he's actually gonna be home late today because he has a doctor's appointment this morning. We'll see how the day goes, but I gotta get that second workout in outside. But first things first, gotta get some breakfast for the kiddos. Uh, they said that they wanted some toast with jam. Breakfast coming up. Feed 
the dog. Bella gets fed very well. I make her food just about weekly in the crock pot. So I'm mashing it down so it takes her a little bit longer to eat it. Otherwise, this thing will be gone in less than a minute. And there she is waiting. She never used to wait for her food until I started making it homemade. Huh, girl? Yeah, licking her chops. You ready? Ready to eat? Yeah? All right, come on. Oh, my spinach is getting burnt. That's okay. Decided to make the kiddos some sausages too. They need some protein. Sausages are done and the spinach is well, well, well done. I kept it on there way too long. And now it's time to make my eggs. The kids didn't want eggs today. Sometimes they'll say, okay, let's let's have one egg. They're not egg people, which I kind of wish they were. It's good protein. But I'm gonna make some over easy eggs. And uh, every time I make these type of eggs, it, whether it be sunny side up or over easy, it reminds me of my grandfather. Now we used to spend about two weeks over the summer up at his house and he would always make uh, sunny side up eggs, two of them, with a toast. And it just reminds me of him every time I make this. He's the one who showed me how to make this type of egg other than just the normal scrambled. But missing you grandpa <laughs> every time i make these eggs i'm always thinking of you there we go i love when the yolk stays intact and it doesn't get runny especially if you're having toast and you can kind of soak it up with the toast it's the best how are you feeling honey you didn't eat the rest of your breakfast feeling a little bit better all right how's your throat still hurts not really okay what about your nose? Is your nose still stuffy? Okay, you're not hot. That's good. All right, you need to either stay down here in the living room and rest. I could put the television on with some shows, or you can stay in your bedroom, or you can cuddle up in my bed. What, what do you want to do? You want to go in your bedroom? Okay. Spent the last hour editing a video that will be posted to the channel very soon, guys. But it's time for me to get my workout in before I start the lunch rush if the kids are really even hungry. Uh, Jane didn't even finish the rest of her breakfast. Uh, it's almost 11. Peter is over here watching. Are you watching Mr. Beast? Yeah. He's watching Mr. Beast. He loves Mr. Beast and he'll watch Unspeakable from time to time, but I do need to monitor Unspeakable. I need to, oh, and Ben, I need to monitor those channels because they do get a little rowdy. Salish. They have their favorite channels too. So I'm going to go check on Bug and then I'm going to get out into the garage and do my strength workout, number one workout of the day. And then uh, Adam did uh, let me know what his day kind of looks like. He's gonna be home late, but at least he's gonna be home before the sun goes down. So when he gets here, I'm gonna have to make a mad dash outside um, if I don't want to go out in the patio and try to do some lunges for 45 minutes. That sounds horrible. So I may end up going for a run. Um, but I want to check on Bug before I go out into the garage and do my strength workout because I'll be out there for about 45 minutes. The kids will always know where I'm at and we have cameras around the house so I could constantly check on them. But she's been coming down from time to time because um, she's getting really bored. She doesn't want to sit in her room all day long, but let's see how she's doing. How are you doing, Bug? Good. Good? Feeling a little bit better? What's hurting now? The nose? Is the throat feeling a little bit better? A little bit, okay. Well, you have the best seat in the house. You look so cozy, you know? All right, well, I'm gonna go down to the garage and get my workout in, okay? I thought you already did it. No, I've been working. Oh. And I have a little bit of work to do later on after I get done, all right? Okay, you just hang out in here and rest. Mom, when you, when you come up, can you bring me some water for me? I'll bring you some water right now. I thought you already had your cup up here. No. 
No, okay. We gotta get you some water. And if you feel tired, hands away from the milk. If you feel tired, you definitely need to sleep. Okay? I'm not tired. Okay. Well, if you do, don't be worried. You can take a lot of naps today. That's the whole point of taking the day off. Okie dokie. Still we can go to bed. We'll see, I don't know. If we don't make it to Aquatica tomorrow, we I will I... we will make it another day, I promise you. Okay? okay? I'm gonna go get you your water. If, if it this my nose. You still probably shouldn't go. Okay? But you have to be honest with me. Because we don't want you getting even more sick because we have another surprise for you on Saturday. And we don't want you to miss out on that. We need you to get better. Aquatica's always gonna be there. No, Mommy, my, I felt a little bit, a little bit hot, but it's fine. It has to be completely gone. All right, we need you 100%. Yesterday, um, when I was in bed, it went stop hurting. When I woke up, it, it was, was, it was, it was going bad. Okay. So it's important for you to get a lot of rest. All right. I'll be right back with your water. All right. Okay. That is one thing that I appreciate as the kids get older, they're able to tell me how they're feeling. I remember when they were babies or toddlers, I wasn't able to communicate with them. You going to go up to your room? Yeah, he's got his, he still has his ring. Mommy, did, yeah. you, did you show them the lock back A little bit later, okay? Um, but that is a horrible feeling when your kids can't communicate with you and tell you how they're feeling. You know they're hurting, but all you get is moans from time to time and then their fever spikes, but you don't know what other symptoms they have unless it's shown on the outside for the most part. You do get to understand your kids a little bit over time but you don't know what's really going on when they're sick. So I do appreciate that the kids are at the age where they can communicate their symptoms. Makes things a lot easier. Room service, waters are on their way. Gotta make sure you drink your water. Oh no, you tore down the, the cool magnet slide that you and your daddy built last night. It broke when I, when I, watch your head, watch your head. When I actually passed, when I actually oh. Okay, well you'll have to build it again. That was a really cool slide. I should have taken a picture of it. Room service. Mom? Delivery. Mom? What? Oh, big stretch. Oh, there's a smile. I like jean smiles. It's a little bit. My phone is better. <laughs> Your throat is better. <laughs> Honey, we need you 100%, okay? All right, Peter wants to show you guys something. He's been working very hard on it, and it's a work in progress. Wow, that is super cool. Were you following the instructions? No, I just created it. Wow. As for my water, I'm almost down half a gallon. Just a little bit to go, and then I have another half gallon to drink by the end of the day. I usually drink about a gallon and a half a day because I try to get it all down by three o'clock, and then I usually get another workout in, so I'm thirsty again. Um, but this rule of the 75 hard challenge is probably one of the easiest ones. You just sit there and sip all day. So, and I love this jug. Found it off Amazon, and it comes with a pouch. Uh, I'll link it down below in the description if you guys are interested. I love the handle. It makes it very easy to carry, and it has a straw spout, which makes it much, much easier for me to drink. Um, but I changed my mind. I'm not going to go in the garage and get a strength workout. I'm actually going to work out outside on the patio. All right, gotta go get my bands though. This is gonna be an outdoor band workout. Never done it before, but it looks good on the video. So I keep my bands up here in the office. It's a little tiny pouch. If we go on vacation, it's so easy to put this in your suitcase. I'll probably need this for our next vacation. It's not a huge vacation, just a weekend getaway. 
We're gonna head on up to Dallas, Fort Worth, and we have some things we wanna do up there for Peter's birthday and Adam's birthday. So that's gonna be a fun time. <laughs> More to come on that, so stay tuned. Be sure to subscribe if you guys haven't done so already so you don't miss out on that fun adventure. We have a lot of things we want to do while we're up there and I may have to bring this pouch with me because I'll still be doing the 75 hard challenge. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my mat as well. And following that storm we had the other day, I'm gonna have to sweep off the patio too. Bella got it pretty dirty. I think I like this idea a little bit better. Then I could go into the garage uh, later after I pick up all my um, groceries from HEB. I did a grocery pickup scheduled in three hours to go get. Um, I have to make more of Bella's dog food since she only has two days of dog food left. So that takes a lot of planning on our part to make sure that every single day Bella has enough food and uh, at this point, I'm making her food just about every week. But we have seen a lot of improvements in our dog. She actually looks forward to eating her food every day. Um, she's sitting at the counter waiting for it to go down into her dish. Um, so if you guys are interested in making your own dog food, I did put together a video of the recipe because I follow the same recipe every time. Sometimes I'll... Instead of using a chicken, I'll use pork or beef, but I typically stick to chicken. But our dog absolutely loves it. She's looking so good. She looks so healthy. Her energy level is much higher. She's able to go on really long runs with us. She's nine years old, and a lot of people think she's still a puppy because she still acts like it. But before we changed her diet over to natural foods that we make here in the home, um, she wasn't looking too good. And with the allergies out here in Texas, uh, I do feel like this dog food that we're making is helping with that as well. So I'm gonna go sweep off the patio, try this new band workout. If I like it, um, it may be a regular thing that I do when I need to get a workout outside and it's a beautiful day, which it is definitely a beautiful day out there. Bella, you ready for a workout? chasing lights she likes to chase the lights oh, yeah you're gonna stay out here with mommy come here girl come here oh you're such a cutie such a cutie all right it's a beautiful day working out on the patio worked however you can see in my mat that Bella put some holes in my mat because she likes to chase lights. And every time my watch would hit a certain location, she would pounce on it. So she did put some holes in my mat during this workout. It's unfortunate. Um, but I wanted to show you guys, wanted to show you guys the bands that I use. I got this off of Amazon. I'll try to find them on Amazon and link them down below. Um, they come in extra heavy, extra, extra heavy, medium and heavy and it comes in a nice little pouch so you could take it on the go. Peter's obviously feeling better. What are you watching? Mr. B still? All right, gotta go check on Jane Bug. Oh, I thought you were sleeping there for a second. How you feeling, honey? Better? Okay, what's hurting now? Throat? Peter. Is your throat hurting? A little? Oh. Are you hungry? No? Are you drinking your water? Can you pause that for a second? Jane likes watching A for Adley sometimes. And Shondura's. Yeah. They're another YouTube family out there. Um, are you hungry? Do you want some food? I can make you a sandwich. You want your toast and your sausages? You want it later? Okay, let me know when you're hungry, okay? Just call for me. Maybe I will come down. Come down to the couch? No, maybe I will come down. We didn't. Okay. We didn't. Are you hungry? Just, yeah. What do you want, a sandwich? 
I don't know. This is my, this is my other way to go downstairs. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Peter's feeling is. fine. He still has a runny nose. I could, I could hear it. Jane's not hungry. She does have leftovers from breakfast, so she'll probably Mommy, eat that. Last way Your last way? Oh. He's such a crazy boy. You know, when you're sick as a kid, I forgot to put this back in the office. It's carrying it around the house. Um, when you're sick as a kid, you don't really take it all in. Uh, Maybe that's not the best way to say it. You don't really feel it. Um, so when you're sick as a kid, you, you're you sick, but you don't feel as sick as you would as an adult, you know? So I remember those days. <laughs> when you become an adult, you get a little bit uh, weaker, somewhat. But yeah, she's, she's not hungry. I'm gonna go ahead and have my regular lunch of rice, uh, broccoli and salmon that I pre-made. Um, I've been adding some I'm chia. Hungry. You're hungry? I've been adding some chia seeds on top of that um, for some more nutrients. Um, but I'm gonna make Peter a ham and cheese sandwich with uh, some fruit. But I forgot to do this. Bella's waiting outside for me. She got all muddy. Um, it's still a little bit damp out there on the in the grassy area because of the storm we had the other day and she got mud all over that patio. I actually had to clean my mat pretty good by the time I was done. Um, but we got this little paw cleaner. Um, it has all these bristles inside. It's really dirty right now because we just used it. Um, so at the end of the day, I gotta take this little pink part out and clean it up pretty good, but it's very easy. And then what Adam does when he gives her a bath is he takes the bristle part out and he uses it to scrub her down and it works really well. It's like a massage for her. So I gotta clean her paws. Um, we got this off Amazon. <laughs> Guys, I'm, <not laughs> I'm gonna be putting all of this stuff down in the description if you're interested, but this thing works pretty darn good if you have a pet uh, with some dirty paws. It cleans it up really good. Um, Cause before I was using a washcloth and I'd be out there forever just trying to peel dirt and yucky stuff off her paws. But yeah, <laughs> I'll link it down below. It comes in multiple colors. What do you say, buddy? Thank you. Okay, other ear. Can you move your ear? You're gonna need some more ibuprofen, my dear. Okay, you need to stay in bed. Fever is back. Do you feel cold? Do you feel hot? Let's get you in can bed. You on me? Yeah. If you can get some sleep, that would be amazing, okay? Okay. All right. Comfy? Okay. What hurts right now? Nothing? You have a little bit of a fever, honey. All right. If you can get some sleep, that would be fantastic. Fantastic. Okay, we need to get you better. All right, buggy, time to eat, honey. All right, Bella, you ready? Time for workout number two. Excellent workout, felt good. All right, buddy, checking in, how are you feeling? What's on your shirt? Is that breakfast? Yeah. Or lunch? It looks like lunch. It's cheese. Yeah, that's from lunch. All right, I'm gonna bring you down a new shirt, okay? We can't have cheese on the couch, but how you feeling? Not so good. Not so good? <laughs> you Let me check your forehead. Should we go over there and check your temperature? Yeah. Let's check your temperature. Peter, I really hope you're not getting as sick as your sister. I hope it stays at the runny nose and gets better from there. We're gonna check his temperature. Uh, 
Okay, good so far. Let's 97.7. Let's get to the other ear. 98.6. I think you're good so far, but we need to keep it that way, okay? Okay. All right, but I need you to rest. How are you doing? Good. Anything hurt? I need more water. Let's check your forehead. Okay, you're feeling good. I'm like hot right now. You're hot? I think you broke the fever. Okay, that's good. And a smile is always good. I'll get you some more water. I want you to stay in here, okay? Okay. All right, I gotta get your brother a new t-shirt. He has cheese all over it. Not really all over it, just the spot. Um, like a spot. Yeah. Spot, spot. Yep. What did we just do? Ate dinner. Ate dinner. Are you feeling better? Yeah. Yeah, you look 100% better, my dear. And you have spaghetti all over your, your mouth. You need to go clean that up, too. <laughs> go stand in line. Your brother's already in there. Your face look better? Mm -hmm. It looks a little better. Oh, my goodness. Did you want your little bed? Bye! Do you have the pasta off? You still have pasta all over your t-shirt <laughs> and all over your shirt. Good morning, everybody. It is the next day, and the kiddos, how you guys feeling? How you Good. feeling, bug? Good. Much better than yesterday? Any symptoms? Runny nose. Yeah, Peter too. What is that on your shirt, bud? Is that chocolate? Yeah. <laughs> Can I see? He's got <laughs> chocolate on his shoulder. Kids wanted jelly toast again today with sausages, and then they asked for hot cocoa. Just got a step workout done in the garage, came into the house, got the kiddos their breakfast. I'm finishing up my breakfast now. I got my uh, eggs, spinach, which is burnt again, and sausages. And then I'm gonna top it with um, this homemade smoked salsa that Adam made a few months ago. It is absolutely delicious, and um, I go through a jar pretty quickly. And uh, we put the recipe on our channel if you guys wanna go check that out. It is homemade smoked salsa all uh, fresh ingredients and it's not too many ingredients in here and it's probably the best salsa I've ever had in my life. Um, I'm also making some chicken, some barbecue chicken that will last us into the weekend. Uh, so it's gonna be a busy day. Also back to homeschooling, the kiddos are, they still have their runny noses, but I think they're good to go with a, a little bit of school today. We're gonna take it a little bit easy. I'm glad that it didn't escalate to a higher fever or a trip to the emergency room like it has in the past. Um, again, that time when Jane had a really high fever of 105 terrified me. It was, it was so horrible. If only parents can just take the sickness out of their kiddos and put it in themselves to get through it, um, I'd be perfectly fine with that. But busy day, busy work day as well. Lots to do, lots to do before the weekend. Hopefully the kiddos continue on the mend because we have a fun day planned tomorrow. We're gonna go do something that we've never done before. The kids don't know where we're going. So you guys gotta hit that subscribe button, hit that bell so you're notified when I post that video. Because uh, it's going to be a very fun Saturday full of great adventure. At the farm house. We're not going to the farm. That's another day. So you guys will have to come it's back for that too. Museum. Not the kids museum. Not the kids museum. Keep guessing. I don't think you'll guess this one. All right, guys. We're going to get this day going. Got to eat some breakfast. Got to get our work done and homeschool done. <sighs> Lots to do. But thank you so, so much for tagging along with us. Again, hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you guys very, very soon. Gotta get that chicken in the oven. Let's go adventure in the deep blue sea. Home is with you wherever happy.